Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Offbit. My name's Dan Lopez, and today we're going to be upgrading this Asus K53Z laptop. We have a brand new keyboard here to replace the faulty old keyboard. We've also got a Western Digital Green 120 gig SSD, so that's going to help with the drive speeds. And on top of it, we're going to be replacing the APU that's inside this laptop with this A63420M. So stick around as we pull apart this system and upgrade it. First thing we want to do is strip this laptop down to the motherboard since we're upgrading and replacing a fair amount of stuff today. Take your time, there's a lot of screws and there's a lot of hidden screws as well, so don't be ashamed if you miss one or two. Also make sure you pull things apart slowly, you don't want to break anything and there's always hidden little clips, so just be careful with that. Now when it comes to pull apart laptops, I like to use a pick. A guitar pick is great for getting those little plastic clips undone. It's strong enough to pull them apart, but it's not too strong to break the clip like a metal screwdriver. Now right here we've actually missed a screw and we are very careful here so we find that there's a screw here and we just let it out so just be careful like we said before. Once you're all done the top should pop off easily just like this. Remove the cables off the motherboard and the two screws that are in the motherboard and you should be able to flip the motherboard upside down. Now there's a couple of cables still stuck in there we didn't want to remove, so we've just dropped it onto the laptop screen, but we put a piece of cardboard in between so we didn't scratch it. Now you don't need to remove the fan here, but we did, but remove these screws on the CPU. They're numbered one, two, three, four. So if you follow that pattern, you should be right. Removing the heatsink is pretty simple once the screws are removed. Use a flat blade screwdriver to loosen the CPU out of the socket. The new CPU will just slide in easily. Make sure you line pin one. If you don't know what pin one is, just make sure you line it up like the video has and you should be right. It's a good time to clean up the CPU and put in the new paste. Done, just reassemble, put the heatsink on and put the whole laptop back together and you should be right. Make sure that you place every cable back in. They're very easy to forget and it's a pain in the butt to reopen it up to put that one cable in. Now we're done, we can boot her up and see the fruits of our labour.
after a cleanup of the laptop, and we have set all the drivers up in Windows 10, this laptop is finally ready to go. Now we've upgraded this machine from the A4-3300M APU to the A6-3420M. It gave us an extra two cores going from two to four, which is gonna make a substantial difference in Windows. The new Western Digital Green SSD makes the OS much more snappier. Combined with a fully functional keyboard, this laptop feels nice to use once again. Now the performance increases that we saw in Cinebench, we went from the A4-3300M at only 90 points and the new CPU we put in the A6-3420M gave us about an extra 70 points in Cinebench and in the end it gave us 166 points all up, which is almost two times the compute power. It's actually 84% better than the A4-3300M. Now that's all we got today at the Offbit. We'd like to thank our Patreon supporters for their continuing support for the channel. Now if you like this video, hit the like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't.